uh, boring mug, very cold coffee. Welcome to Field Notes, and since we've been doing so much geology, our friend Anthropology is feeling a little bit lonely. This topic is inspired by an article I read in the journal Nature a little bit ago. This article was about two researchers who found two bits of jawbone and decided that they came from two separate species of ancient primate. One of the jawbones, they decided, was from a genus and species that had never been discovered before. From one piece of jaw with a couple of teeth in it. You can see how that would be problematic. There was one critique in the article that said that there was no way that these researchers could tell if this bone was actually from a primate. It could very well have been from an ancient pig or peccary. So today we're going to be looking at an interesting phenomenon that happens between anthropologists. And this tends to categorize people in two ways. You're either a splitter or a lumper. So what exactly are we talking about here? Well, when people started to discover ancient primates that were in the path to becoming humans, everybody wanted to name their own species, so all of these different specimens got classified as different species. The people that upheld that these separate specimens were actually different species are called splitters. And the people that thought that they were probably just one species, or maybe two or three species, were called lumpers. To make this concept maybe a little bit more clear, let's look at some Minecraft characters. So we have a creeper, a Jeff, and a TNT block. Splitters would say these are all three very different parts of Minecraft and represent three different things, while lumpers might be more inclined to group them together under the more generic term of Minecraft stuff. I tend to wonder if someone were to look at modern humans today and the amount of variety we have in our species, that maybe they would try to split us up into a couple different species as well. If you put someone like me who is five feet tall on a good day next to a basketball player or a football player, the size difference in our bones might be enough for splitters to decide that we are from two different species. This leads to the obvious problem of determining what exactly a species is, and this is a problem that we are still dealing with today. But that's not a topic for this video, and long story short, it's not always something that you can discover by looking at the bones. So there's two end members of this problem. Splitters, who'd like to give everybody their own special category, and lumpers, who want to stick everybody together but may be too lenient with their standards. Like a lot of our problems, the real answer probably lies somewhere in the middle. So while the researchers who found these two jaw bones may be correct, they could be being a little too hasty with their decision and displaying some splitter-like tendencies. All right, well, this has been a step away from geomythology to look at another kind of basic physical anthropology topic. I have linked the Science News article down below that deals with the researchers' findings. Read it if you are so inclined. Leave me a comment down below. Are you more of a splitter? Do you like to separate things into their own fancy categories? Or are you a lumper and want to kind of generalize and keep them all with their friends? Remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time. My name is Jeff. I'm having a good chase of my fish. Everything's on fire. Woo! It's such a relief knowing that I'm not going to unfocus because I moved my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm not unfocusing! You're a wonderful invention, manual focus. And that's a wrap. Ah!